hearty greetings to everyone i am dr rana shahwal and today we are going to discuss about tourism products but before starting the main topic first of all we need to know about tourism what is the concept of tourism overview of tourism meaning of tourism so the world tourism organization defines tourism as an activity of a person those who are moving from their usual environment to any other destination for business leisure pleasure or any other purpose and stay at least 24 hours but not more than one consecutive year in other words we can say tourism encompasses all the activities related to the traveling and exploring new places for education business pleasure or any other reason nowadays tourism has become a significant source of income for many countries it is an essential part of global economies now the flow chart shows the detailed description or understanding of tourism initially we have two types of people residents and visitors further the residents are classified as non travelers and travelers travelers means those who are traveling from their usual environment to any other place visitors are also known as travelers because they are traveling to visit someone or somewhere at any place further the travelers are classified as tourist and non tourist in the list of non tourist we have excursionist air crew members students migrants and daily travelers here the meaning of excursionist is when a people or a person is going somewhere out for just one day excursion not stay 24 hours further in the classification of tourist we have international tourist and domestic tourist but here the purpose of the travel should be like the business vfr visiting friends and relatives their personal business or maybe the pleasure now what is the meaning of international tourist when a people are just moving from their home country or host country to any other country and stay at least 24 hours but not exceeding 12 months so these are known as international tourists in case of domestic tourist when the tourist are just moving within the boundaries of their country they are known as domestic tourist now we are able to understand the meaning of tourism products what is tourism products tourism products can be defined as the physical and psychological satisfaction of the tourist during their traveling and route to the destination in other words we can say tourism products includes all the major components of tourism like attraction accommodation accessibility amenities and the activities now there are five major types of tourism products first we have natural man made symbiotic site based and event based tourism products natural tourism products when there is all the natural resources are available for the tourist it is known as natural tourism products it may be like mountain climate desert rivers waterfall wildlife forest flora and fauna so sometimes such natural resources are created maintained and developed by humans to attract tourist main main tourism products when any tourism product or the destination is built by human it is known as man made tourism products they may be like historical monuments fairs and festivals museums art galleries handicrafts adventure activities resorts recreation activities and so on so in other words we can say when any kind of tourism product can be created built and developed by the human just to attract the tourist it is known as man made tourism products symbiotic tourism products symbiotic tourism products means when we have the feature of both the products natural tourism products and the man made tourism products they are just like national parks wildlife and bird sanctuaries marine parks zoo water park etc when in other words we can say when the natural resources and the main made tourism destination are come together it means it is symbiotic tourism products 
site based tourism products. As we all know very well about the Taj Mahal in the city of Agra, it is the main attraction of the site based tourism. It means when any site or a place attract tourists for any specific destination, it is known as site based tourism products like the Statue of Liberty, Great Wall of China, the Eiffel Tower, Taj Mahal, Sunset of Kanyakumari and many more. Now last type is event based tourism products. When an event is the attraction for the tourist, so it is known as event based tourism. The best example is IPL, IPL tournament organized in India by BCCI and it is the main attraction as an event for the tourist. So such kind of events may be like the cultural festive event tourism fairs, boat race Kerala, kite flying in Ahmedabad, polo, camel polo at Jaisalmer and any other sport event tourism. Next in line we have various features of tourism product like intangibility, inseparability, heterogeneity, perishability and last it is ownership. First of all the intangibility, tourism products are intangible in nature. It means we cannot feel, tested or check before purchase and consumption. Suppose any tourist has booked a year ticket in advance, but he does not experience until he is on the plane. It means the nature of the tourism product is intangible. Inseparability, it is another very important feature of tourism products. It means we cannot separate tourist and service provider. Suppose for example, a hotel visitor cannot experience counter service if the receptionist is not there or in the other words, nor can the receptionist render the service if there is no visitor. It means in other words, we can say they must be come together to provide the service to take place. Heterogeneity, it is another important feature of tourism products. Heterogeneity, it is the word which signifies the diversity. It means tourism products as services are not same always. For example, even within the same restaurant due to large number of servers, the way one customer is served may differ from the way the another is served. It means the tourism products according to the heterogeneity feature is not same always. Perishability, it is, it is an another very important feature of tourism product. It means we cannot store tourism product to sell in the future. As we all know very well, tourism is highly dependent upon seasons. So due to this perishability nature, the accommodation and the transport sector provide heavy discount in off seasons. Last feature is ownership. According to this feature, we cannot transfer the ownership to tourist. Okay. Suppose a tourist has booked a room in a hotel for a week. So, due to this feature, the room is available only for a week for tourist. So, we can say in other words, we can say we cannot transfer the tourism product to tourist, only we can provide the services to tourist. It's all about today's lecture. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.